Well, in Tunisia, the main opposition party says it'll launch an alternative government after another of its politicians was murdered. Mohamed Abrami was killed by the same gun that was used in the murder of his party leader, Chokri Belaid, six months ago. Well, thousands took to the streets to pro protest against the murder in what could be a pivotal moment for the ruling Islamist party. Arise News' Harry Olsup reports. The end of Islamist government in Tunisia. That's the opposition's message after yet another secular politician was murdered. We agree this is the end of legitimacy of the National Constituent Assembly and institutions that emanate from it, as the presidency and government are over now. Mohamed Brahmi was found by his wife outside their house yesterday morning. She heard shots and found his body lying on the ground as two men fled on a motorcycle. He was a member of the Popular Front, a party whose former leader, Shokri Belaid, was killed in similar circumstances six months ago. Belaid's death ignited the worst violence in Tunisia since the Arab Spring Revolution in 2011. Ennahda, who some are blaming for his latest killing, has publicly condemned the murder. Yesterday, thousands of people took to the streets in protests that lasted through the night. The country's biggest labour organisation will hold a general strike today to protest Brahmi's killing. There is an alternative, a solution we can think about, which is the Egyptian solution. The opposition believe the protest will give it the legitimacy to remove Ennahda from power. We will rely on people's demonstrations in order to force this government to resign. Tunisia's political transition began peacefully, but unrest has grown amid concerns over Ennahda's handling of the economy. Analysts say the situation is parallels with Egypt. There, President Morsi was deposed by the army over an Islamist agenda and his handling of the economy. Harry Alsop, Arise News.